Hey you guys, good morning. Um, this is just a quick little video. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna post this, whether it, it will be on YouTube or my Instagram page. But anyway, if you are here, thank you for watching. Um, I ordered a mattress cushion topper off of Amazon because everyone's been raving about it and saying how comfortable it makes your mattress feel and they say it's like a hotel secret so um at the same time i was like this is kind of gross because i don't know how often hotels change their mattresses but after i guess they maybe get a little bit worn after a year or two um still kind of grosses me out i think what they do is they put these toppers on top of the mattress so they always feel like new so i washed this last night um, it's really heavy. It came in like a vacuum sealed bag inside of a box. So I opened up the box, got it out. Um, as soon as you like cut the plastic open, it like expands. It's very heavy um, and it feels like a cloud. So I did end up washing it on the delicate cycle. I made sure to, um, let's go into my laundry room real quick. Okay, so this is my laundry and a couple things I want to mention. So I believe I put it on the quick cycle because I wanted to control my settings over here. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't super cold. I think I did like a two level, so it was at least a little bit warm, but not too hot because it says to wash in pretty much cold water. I made sure that the spin was fast because it's so big. You don't, you want to make sure you get all the water out. And then I believe um, it's brand new. So I just put the soil level as light. So I did that so that it um, wouldn't have too much water once it was once it was finished. But hopefully maybe your washer has a drain and spin cycle that if there was still too much water that you could just do another drain and spin to get more water out. Another thing that I want to mention that your so I have a front loader. It's pretty deep. I was able to get the whole thing in there, but if you haven't done this in the in a while, I highly recommend cleaning. Like I have like a little stain here. I haven't been able to get it out, but once a month at least, I try to do it at least twice. I get into this rubber portion here like I pull this open, <laughs> sorry if it's dirty or whatever, but you have to, in these high efficiency washers, you need to like get in here and clean all of that out. Also around this dome area, like I'm, I'm due to have this cleaned up, but you wanna make sure your washer is clean before you put something that big in there, cause you may not think it's dirty, but with something that big, when you pull it out, it may get some dirt or whatever and you'll end up having to spot clean it. So make sure your washer is um, clean before you put something that bulky in there. And it doesn't recommend that you dry clean it, only um, machine wash. So that's a good thing as well that it is machine wa washable. So then when I dried it, I put it on again, the quick cycle. And then I did a air dry and then I'm able to when I choose quick I can increase the time or you know less time so I did two hours um, on the air dry cycle and it was completely dry and then I just let it lay out on my couch because you don't want to sleep on it at least for a night if not longer so it can fully expand so that's what i did there all right so that's how i washed everything so go back into the bedroom um so what i want to do is make my bed with you guys and show you all how i put this on so i googled it and it says that because i have a mattress protector too um so i wanted to know like what order do i put everything on <laughs> um it should make common sense but i still googled it so you put the you strip your bed completely down nothing on your mattress then you put your topper on first and then you put your mattress protector over that because then your mattress protector protector will protect your topper and then your topper is essentially protecting your mattress and then you can go on with your fitted sheet your flat sheet 
and your comforter and you know all your quilts and blankets and all those types of things so let me set the <clears throat> excuse me set the camera down and we can make my bed together bedding is clean um every monday is my unless i don't get to it but every monday is my bedding day i wash all my bedding every monday so um maybe i'll do another video of like my weekly cleaning routine there's certain chores or tasks that i assign to each day and um i at least do my sheets every monday um and then i have you know my mattress protector and now my topper that I would at least do once a month um, and my pillows I learned how to wash my pillows depending on what type of filling your pillows have um, I looked that up to you know get those washed once at least once a month too because I I think they said every three months you can wash at least my type of pillow but I have sensitive skin and I <laughs> would feel more comfortable with like those types of things being washed at least once a month my protector my topper and my pillows so like not just the pillowcases but the actual pillows themselves so um yeah thought i'd just throw that little information in there too but I can visually see how big my bed has gotten like I feel like I put a box spring under here Hearth and hand line at Target. Oh, also, maybe if I can still link on my bedding. So, like, if you're interested in this and all my bed stuff, um, it'll all be here under this video. So, I love these big pillows. Um, so, I'm gonna put these here. talked about this I really when I was thinking about this room and the vibe I want in here I'm like I want my bed to be like lots of layers super 
super comfortable so I have like all neutral tones but different textures so that just made everything feel like really cozy to me these pillows on the back anymore I know these are still being sold in the back here um, and this quilt I don't know about this maybe but if I find it I will definitely definitely um, I may find it like an online link it might not be sold in stores anymore it was just this past fall so um, I believe I know for sure these are still being sold so <laughs> That is the bed. As you can see that there. And then if you haven't noticed, I finally found a wreath. I hung a Christmas wreath there. Um, and ever since Christmas, I haven't I didn't know what I wanted to put there in the center. So I chose this eucalyptus leaf wreath from Hearth and Hand. And then the two mirrors, I got those at Walmart. Um it's growing on me. I wasn't in love with it at first, but I've been wanting to put something there. And I'm like, you know what? These little, I think they were like $6, $5.80 or something like that. So I'm like, is that gonna look cheap in here? But honestly, it's growing on me and I really like it because when I put on my jewelry in the morning, like I can see myself in the mirror. So I'm feeling like this room feels like a real room right now. Like it's, it's pretty much complete and then you guys have seen my dresser set up over here so I think this room is looking really really good and I am loving this oops, loving this bed it looks so comfortable
like a little after six o'clock <clears throat> and I had the best night's sleep ever excuse me I'm just waking up um, at my tea but I wanted to let you guys know that it was I was so easy to fall asleep and stay asleep and yeah you have to try it out um, link will be down below the extra get the extra thick and I just loved the way it made my bed look really plush and full um, gave it a little bit of an elevation as if I had like a box spring so yeah I have no complaints I think it's worth it so thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you all enjoyed it let me finish getting ready for the day um but yeah give this video a thumbs up if you liked it let me know if you um end up purchasing this and trying it out yourself or if you already have one it truly did make a difference um in the look and in the feel the only thing i think would make it more like hotel like is if my comforter also had that same level of like thickness so maybe that might be my next thing is to get like a heavier uh comforter so um yeah that's all it was great and i love it so i will see you all in the next video don't forget to subscribe thank you bye <laughs>